Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. I have another project to share with you today. This is for the Cards TV Stamps Design Team Challenge. And the challenge was number 30, Father's Day. So we were supposed to create a card, a layout, or some kind of a project for Father's Day. So this is what I came up with. I wanted to do a little mini album. Something different this time as far as a mini album. Not that I don't make mini albums, but this one I wanted to be a little different. Um, I don't make too many guy mini albums. So what I did was I used um, good old Starbucks coffee sleeves for my pages and my design paper that I used in this mini album is the Bow Bunny Double Dot 6x6 and it's the Natural Necessities um, paper. So on the front cover what I did was I used the Tim Holtz on the edge gear, uh, actually it's called Steampunk. It's got the gears on it. Um, and I have black chipboard. I found it with my cinch. I found these letters in my stash to spell the word dad. I added some washi tape here and here and this is some Tim Holtz tissue tape. I added a little uh, key that I found in my stash and these are some Tim Holtz gears and this spinner is actually from Stampin' Up. Same with the Brad. And then I stamped, dad, it has dad and then you're the man came from the card CV stamps, you're the man stamp set. And I just put that on some very vanilla cardstock and then uh, cut it out and then put it here on the front. And I did add a couple little charms. I found a little metal tag that I ran through one of my um, new embossing folders. It looks like a basket weave. And then I found this little compass uh, charm that I had in my stash. I stuck that on there. I also have a little Tim Holtz memo clip right here and I tied some twine around it. So that's the front cover. And you open it up and on the inside again I added some more Tim Holtz tissue tape. This is actually a paper clip that I got from Hobby Lobby. Another Tim Holtz gear. And some more gears right here that I just used glossy accents to attach them to the cover here. So here's the copy sleeves. And what I did on the copy sleeves is I didn't want this to show, so I just took them and opened them up and then turned them inside out and glued them like this because I wanted the corrugated cardboard to show through and then just sealed it back up and then I painted over it just really kind of dry brushed it lightly with um, Tim Holtz Distress Paint in antique linen and then after that dried I took the um, Adirondack Dabber Paint in espresso mm -hmm. and kind of went over that and then again to seal up the bottom here because when I glued it I needed to seal up the bottom here because I wanted to make this a pocket I took my on the edge die and I took some black cardstock and folded it in half and placed the fold right here and then ran it through my big shot. So that way when I did, I could, I, and then I just put that on the bottom edge and wrapped the gears around on both sides and then trimmed it off to fit. So that's how I created the pages. I have a little tag here with a Tim Holtz pin nib that I glued down and then on the inside each one of them has a tag and the tags were cut using the um, Tim Holtz mini Baroque die. And then this little image of this vintage car, I just got, it was a free image that I got off of the internet. And then there's the back. And the tags are actually a lightweight chipboard. So that goes back in there. Over here, this is a, another stamp from this, uh, You're the Man stamp set, little glasses, and I added some glossy accents to the lenses. Over here, this one says Family Man. So I used quite a few of the stamps on this stamp set. It's really versatile and it's perfect for um, guy gifts. And here's the tag for this one. All the tags are, uh, have a different vintage car on them. And I inked around all the edges with walnut stain distressing. Over here they have a little Tim Holtz paper clip and then this is a, I was digging for something and I found this Brad. Um, it's an old Brad from We Are Memory Keepers and it was, I snipped off the little prongs in the back and then just glued it down with glossy accents, a cute little light bulb. And then over here it says Mr. Fix It. I had another gear here, another little antique car. And then uh, I think there's six pages in here. And over here I found a little arrow that was a brad that I just stuck on there. And then this little tag says King of the Grill. Again from the same stamp set. And there's this car here. I used the different colors. Tried to keep it in the earth tones here. I originally was going to just do black but I didn't like how it looked so that's when I decided to get out the, this paper. And I didn't use any of the reds but I did use the... Um, the grays and the browns and the tans. And then um, this one says my hero. Over here I went ahead and I had a um, 
foil playing card that was the king of clubs. And so I went ahead and put some alcohol ink on it and just stuck that in there. And this one says, you're the bomb. And another antique car. And over here I have, I used the small uh, little mustache stamp for this right here, which I think is darling. And again over here it says King of the Remote. And another antique car. And on the back page, again, I found another little arrow here and I stuck that down on top of the gears. On the back inside um, cover, I used the gray double dot paper. And I had another little aluminum tag and I ran that through my cuddle bag with the basket weave folder. And then I went over it with some alcohol ink. I used um, caramel, latte, and espresso. Tied some twine around there, around there. And then this little thing here is actually a bottle cap. And I did this for my friend Janice Lewis. I took this bottle cap and I ran it through my big shot and smushed it down. It worked out fabulous. And then I attached a gear on there. So that's for you, Janice. And then the back cover is just plain brown. So that's my little project for the Card CV Stamps Design Team Challenge number 30, Father's Day. And again, I use the um, You're the Man stamp set. So there you go, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.